In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can produce uh, graphs from ArcGIS. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our attributes table and from the table options here, we're going to, uh, we can see an option here called the create graph. We're going to click on that. Now our created graph is here. Now we can choose the graph type from here as well. So from here, I'm going to take scatter plot. I'm taking scatter plot and the layer. If you have multiple layers open, then you should choose the layer you want to uh, work with. Uh, in my case, I just have one layer open here. So I'm clicking on this and then we have to add the y field so in the y field let's say that i want the uh, area of the countries to be in the y field or uh, rather let's put the population in the y field okay so the population is on the y field as you can see it is already showing a representation of it and uh, and then we can uh, we can give the x field now the in the x we're going to give area there you go and as you can see uh, the field labels are also given here because we had previously provided the field labels here we cannot touch that right now sorry so if we if you don't have any field labels there or the field label is not appropriate for understanding you can also add the x level field from here you can choose the name of the field if i give fid you can see there's fid but we, we we don't want anything else here we're just going to use the population and the area so this is going to be a population versus the area graph of the indo pak area okay and as you can see the three dots are representing the three polygons we have the polygons of each country here okay now the vertical axis you can change the uh the place of the vertical axis from you can le from left to right you can bring it to right and you can also keep it on both directions as well for now let's just keep it on the left side and then in the uh, with the horizontal axis you can either keep it in the bottom you can keep it on the top or you can do is you can keep it on the top and the bottom for now we're just going to keep it in the bottom because that looks a bit better then you can also change this color scheme the color right now is matched with layer that means whatever color the layer of each individual polygon is will be displayed on the color of each individual dots representing those polygons so if we had different colors for different polygons of uh, our shape file, then we could have easily recognized which is what, right? So we're not going to do that here. What we can do is we can change the color scheme from match to match with layer to platel. From there, you can change the scheme. We can choose from classic, default, Excel, modern, uh, pastel, rainbow. We have a lot of options and then you can also do a custom so from custom you can choose your own colors okay so i'm, I'm going to keep it to match with layer uh, i find this one to be more appropriate for my work and then we can also increase the width of the dots representing the data and we can also increase the height we can also decrease the height as well and then we can the markers uh, are the marker style is now rectangle we can change the shape from rectangle to circle as you can see it is now turned into circles we can give down rectangle triangles we can give diagonal crosses whatever we want and so I'm, I'm keeping these as rectangles there and uh, if we're done here we're going to go to next and the next we can change the title by title from here so here i'm going to call it the uh, population versus area of indp okay, in the pack okay now we can also give a footer here let's call it fake Sorry, figure one, population versus area. Now you can also, if you check this box, the graph will turn into a 3D graph. And then here you can add the graph legend just right here. You can also give a legend here. You can call it B versus A, for just for example right now. Again. You can change the position of that. I'm just keeping it on the right side and then axis of proper titles. Uh, title population, it is visible. You can uncheck it. You can check it. Then we on the right, we also have population on the bottom. You can have the area, the visibility. There you go. 
you can either have it visible or you can uh, uncheck this box to make it invisible then you can do a logarithmic you can also do it for the top now when you're finished working with that you just click on finish and as you can see this will pop up here now if you want to save it as a image what you can do is do a right click on it go to export and from there you can choose the format so I usually use JPEG format and from there you can adjust the size of the picture that is going to turn into and then when you are done with it you can just click on the save button and then you can save it anywhere in your PC. Let's, for now, let's call it DAC. Save it. And it has been saved in your PC. So that is how you can do graphs in ArcGIS. So there are other options of graphs as well, not just scatter. You can use vertical bars, you can use histogram, you can use horizontal bars, whatever you need according to your analysis, you can use those from here. So I have an old video of mine explaining a few more of the graphs. I'll be adding that video in the series as well. So I hope you'll enjoy that video and you'll be able to learn something more from that video as well from this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.